It's Fake Kills. Tomorrow, so I'm definitely wearing this wig and I'm like, I'm 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 like, I'm I'm like, 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 I'm Hey guys, the wig that I'm going to be styling in this video is from Asteria Hair. So this is their packaging and inside their packaging they sent eyelashes, they sent a wig cap and they also sent an elastic band to do an optional elastic band method as well as their drawstring bag. So um, the hair now, they sent me their 20 inches 6x6 lace closure wig and the style is natural curly. The first thing I noticed about um, the wig was that the lace was very soft. It wasn't too thick or heavy and the front was pre-plucked. So it was very light and I could tell it was going to be very easy to work with. So to further customize the wig, I did go ahead and bleach the knots. So as per usual, I prepared 30 volume developer and some bleach powder. And I mixed that into a consistency that was thick enough. And I just went ahead and lightly spread the, um, the bleach mixture onto the, onto the lace. So yeah, just take my time and lightly spread it down. And once everything was placed, um, I let it sit for about 40, 40 minutes until I, before I washed it out. So I did go ahead and pluck it. I, after I was finished, I did realize it was unnecessary to pluck it because the, um, the wig was pre-plugged and they did a pretty good job at it. But, but just out of habit, I ended up plucking the wig anyways. So the next step I did was... I tinted the lace using Stush's Lace Tint in medium brown. I did transfer some of the product into another spray bottle because my spray pump did break. But however, the product itself is amazing, especially for customizing the, the color of the lace. So next thing I did was I set the front of the lace, okay, by making a middle part. And then I'm just combing it out um, just so that I can define the curls in that direction. So I went ahead with the Hawaiian Silky 14-in-1 Miracle Spray. Um, so I used that in order to define the curls and to detangle the curls and to comb it out. So I used a detangling brush and this is just to set, you know, to set the curls and make sure the product went through from root to tip. And the next thing I did, which is very important to me, was setting it um, using the Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion as well. So I ended up using this from root to tip as well. And I made sure that I, at the front part, I made sure that I combed the, um, the hair on the frontal going back and down. So this is that when it sets, it's not in my face, it's away from my face. So I just made sure that I combed that throughout the hair as well from root to tip. And this is just going to define the curls even more when it dries. And it's just going to show you the true beauty of the curl pattern. So once I, you know, distributed the product throughout the hair, I just used my wrap strip to tie it down just to make sure the front was as flat as possible. And I just used, I ended up using two wrap strips in total. And then the next thing I did was let that dry using a hooded dryer. And I let it sit for about a half hour um, until I found that it was dry enough to place it onto my head. Okay, so the wig is dry now. And this is how it looks. This is how it's set. As you can see, the lace tint made a big difference because I must admit I did over bleach the knots. Um, yeah, the wig feels really nice and light. And I can tell it's going to be a very fluffy and bouncy wig like once it dries and it, you know, expands to that big look. So 
So as you guys can see, I did do a ball cap method. The lace at the front is only six inches, so I only really needed from like here to here. So I might have more than I need, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna put the put the wig on now. There's straps in the back here and also comb. It's like your standard wig. So I'm gonna use the straps to tighten it. They sent the elastic band so that you could do the elastic band method if that's what you're comfortable with, but I don't find it necessary, so I'm not gonna be, you know, sewing those, um, sewing the elastic bands on. I think this is the tightest curl I've ever tried for a wig, and I'm actually really excited. I think I'm gonna love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to cut it using this razor here, so it's like an eyebrow razor. I'm going to cut down the middle with the scissors first. Ooh, I think I cut too much. <sighs> Alright, let's get in. Cutting with the with this razor here, this eyebrow razor, it gives it more of a jagged look and not such a perfect, you know, straight, straight across, you know, cut of the lace. So I find that it helps it look more natural. So I'm just customizing it some more. The hair is very fluffy. Like, look at this. I haven't even glued it down yet, and I feel like I don't, I don't have much to do. Um, I'm almost thinking I'm not gonna glue this down, guys. The wig is so nice and snug. I use the comb at the back to tuck it in. All I'm gonna really need is my baby hairs. So yeah, I'm gonna pull some down as, um, and it's gonna also camouflage the lace front the lace at the front here look back baby make your look back ah, move that way you move that touch that baby me just wanna touch that and time you read now you they mash up the place ah, and time you read you are what see me brain Yeah, so while this is drying, um, it's, I'm gonna just put on my makeup in the meantime, and then yeah, I'll be back to show you guys um, the finished look. But taking these curls, guys. But yeah, look how pretty and, and they're so soft. It's so fluffy and soft. I can't even explain. And I also know that it's going to, the more I touch it after it dries, it's going to expand more and give me that nice natural look. So anyway, let me go put on my makeup um, while this is drying. Okay, so I put my makeup on, of course, you can see. It's so pretty. And I took off the wrap strip. So this is the scalp guys and like you guys already know I did not glue the wig down and the wig is sitting pretty snug so I don't know if you if you can consider this a glueless wig but yeah so I can move it you know I can make a side part let me not try that right now but I'm pretty sure I can move it over if I want to do like a side part or I can just part it out um, but yeah the hair is already starting to expand and fluff out Hope you guys can see. Uh, yeah, 
So this is their 20 inches. Okay, so you guys can see everything now. Like, look how pretty that is. Let me show you guys back here. Like, look how fluffy that is. The wig was already pre-plucked. I only uh, plucked a little bit. I could have went with not plucking it at all because you can see right here it's very, I don't know if you want to call it scalpy, but that's because I did more plucking. I didn't have to do any more plucking. Also, the lace itself is very light, like it's very, um, like it's thin, it's not too thick, easy to bleach, which is why, you know, your girl went crazy. But it all worked out, it looks beautiful. And I'm going out tomorrow, so I'm definitely wearing this wig, and all I have to do is take it off and put it back on. <laughs> um, if I'm feeling like I need more security, I'm, I'll definitely glue it down, but for now, like, this is fine. Perfect. So, yeah, so thank you so much, Asteria Hair, <sighs> for providing me with this wig. I'm going to leave the description and all the information um, in the box below so if you guys want to know the details of this wig and how much it costs and hopefully they provide you with a coupon code. I'll leave that in the description box below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Let's have a good time Baby, I'ma make you sweat